Hey, what is going on guys? Homeless Rider here bringing you a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own high quality FPS shooter game using the program FPS Creator Reloaded. This is a very, very good program for making your own highly customizable uh, FPS shooter games. Uh, so if, you, if this program looks interesting to you and you don't already have it, a link to buy it will be down in the description below. So please be sure to check that out. So to start off, you have a library over here as you can see with entities and markers. Right now I'll be working with the entities. So if you click over there, it will bring up this list with all sorts of entities such as barrels, boxes, bridges, buildings, characters, collectible items, fixtures, foliage, furniture, grasses, scenery, and weapons. So in order to select an entity, you're just going to want to find the one you want, and for the sake of example I will be using the Colt 911, and just go ahead and double click on it. Use your middle mouse scroll to zoom in. And as you can see, now in my little editor here, you can see the item. Go ahead and left click to place that item. Now say you want to add another entity. So go ahead and click back here, and I will add a building. So let's just add this. As you can see, just building. Go ahead and left click again to place. Right click to get rid of the entity and then you can come back over here and double click on an entity that you may want to use again that you've already selected and then right click again to get rid of it so you may be asking yourself how with this roof here am I going to edit the inside of my building well it's very simple scroll down till you're very close to it and hit the tab button this will remove the, the uh, building roof from view and you can easily edit the inside of your building so real quick, I'm going to come over in here and just add some cardboard boxes. And as you can see, sometimes they will automatically just go on top of other entities. And um, I'll go ahead and add a bloodied bed. Okay, so this is all good and fine, but you have a problem. You haven't yet let the game engine know where you want your player to spawn and you find that in markers right here markers is just basically a list of things that you can let your game let happen in your game or see but you can't physically see it as an object in the game like you would be physically be able to see this bed here so you have the player start checkpoint lights and different trigger zones such as the wind zone the trigger zone and the sound zone so I'm going to scroll back up here, and at player start, just go ahead, go ahead and come here, and whichever way the arrow is pointing is where you want your player to spawn. There's the looking towards where you want your player to spawn. Say you don't want your player to spawn looking towards the building. Well, this is simple to fix. Find the R button on your keyboard, hit it once, and it will rotate 45 degrees. And now, if you left click, player start will be placed and my player will be facing away from the building so this is all good but this is a very flat boring ground this is also easy to fix come up here find this button shape mode, shape mode click on it and now you have a little circle that's uh, glowing basically on the outsides go ahead and left click on it and that will create a mountain you come right beside it and right click that creates such as like a lake or a little pond everything is all green now let's come up here there's a paint ground paint rock find paint ground and say this is way too big you want it to be smaller well next to the backspace button you have a minus and a plus sign key hit the minus to make it bigger or smaller I mean and hit the plus sign to make it bigger and then again just left click and it will start painting the ground 
Next, we have a paint grass. Go ahead and double click on that again. And just like you're painting the ground, do that same thing again. And you may be asking yourself, why would you want this ugly, light green, unrealistic looking paint in your game? Well, this is just a way of them showing that wherever the very light green ground is, is where the game will uh, sp basically spawn the grass, grass clumps in. So, if I want to test my game, this area here will all have grass, but this stuff outside and this stuff right here would not have any grass. It would just look green. And lastly, we have this button here that I forgot to go over. It's called Level Mode. So go ahead and click on that. And let's find the mountain that I made earlier. I'm going to go ahead and make this circle a little more big. Let's so go ahead and go right over top of that. And as you can see, now instead of it being a little pointy mountain, it is a like a flat topped hill. And you can just keep doing that, and it basically levels out all of the ground to the height that you started at. But you come right here, and this is a very good way of getting rid of your mountain without making a little pond if you just want it to be flat ground again. So I will go ahead and just add that. And then another little thing like this. Let me just make it flat so I have all of that there. And lastly, say you want you don't want to add another entity to your game, but you want to go down and say you want to move this building right here. But you can't seem to get rid of the little circular thing here. Well, go ahead and find this button here. Click it. That'll go away, but don't worry, it is still there. And now if you come down here, oh no, we can't select the building. Well, that's because when we press tab, it went into house editing mode. So if you go ahead and press tab again, now we can select the, the building and move it around with ease.